Welcome to Lavanya's Computer Classes. In this video, I have I will explain some examples for decision trees. How you creating the decision tree? In the previous video, I will explain what is decision tree and what are the key terminologies are used in the decision tree. Now, we will explain with some more examples in the decision tree. Here, I want to draw a decision tree for this Boolean function A union B intersection C. So, for this boolean exam boolean function i want to draw a decision tree so before drawing the decision tree first we explore first we thoroughly check what is your question what is your boolean function the boolean function is a union b intersection c that means this is the union and this is the intersection intersection means it is called as an and operator a union b intersection c means b and c a a r b and c that is the meaning Union is called as an R operator, intersection is called as an AND operator, A, R, B and C. So, B and C is the one set because it is keep it in the brackets. So, before drawing the decision tree, first to find out what is the truth tables for AND operation and R operation, how it is working. R operation, R and AND is the binary operators. So, how it is working means between two variables, minimum between two variables. So, I will take two variables A and B. Now, I want to apply R operator between these two variables A or B. So, whenever two variables are there means we have possibility is 2 to the power of 2. That means four possibilities are coming. So, that is why four combinations are there. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. How the R operator is working means whenever we are using R operator between any two variables. If any one variable is true, then total result is true. Okay. So, here first one is true and second one is true means automatically the result is true. Both, the, both are true means automatically the result is true. One is true and one is false means R operator is explains any one variable is true, result is true. Here A is true, B is false, no problem, result is true. In third case, one is false and second one is true means any one is true the result is true. But in the last case both are the false mean the result is false. So, this is the working of an R operator. Similarly, go for AND operator. How the AND operator is working means all the operations must be true. If any one is false the total result is false. So, here true and true. So, both are true the result is true. Here first condition is true, second condition is false, then automatically the A and B means condition is false. Any one is false, the result is false. Here third condition false and true, it is also false. In the last case, both are all are false means the result is false. Is it clear? So, this is the AND and R operator working process. Using this truth table, now we draw a decision tree. So, what is our condition? A, R, B intersection C. Okay. So, first we take decision tree. Which symbol is used for decision tree means square rectangle box A. Either A is for every decision tree the classification is either it is true or false. It is true or false. For example, it is true. Either it may be true or it may be false. For example, it is true. Whatever it is true means here see A union whatever it is you think it is X B intersection is X is called as entire thing is called as X. If it is true true union whatever it is because R operator means any one is true the total result is true here A is already true. If it A is true not necessary think about what is your X either it may be false or true whatever it is any one is true so the total result is true so here this is the final leaf node so final leaf nodes are represented with uh, with symbol means already explained in the previous previous video that is the symbol with in the previous video already explained uh, leaf node is represented with a ellipse so it is called as yes because it is everything is true means it is also a yeah, true. So, first condition is A is true whatever it is X not necessary to think about this one it is totally true. So, this is final this is over. 
then we go for this case. In this case, if it is false, that means A union, this is false, false union, whatever it is here. Because both are the false mean, then problem is there. So, we do not know this is either true or false. So, now we go for B intersection C, okay, just thinking here. So, now we again we go for here, what is this means? You now we go for B. So, this is also depends upon the B value, again we have to take the decision. Decision is always keep it in the square box, a rectangle box. Here it is also, B means it is also either maybe true or false. Is it clear? If it is true, see here, B intersection C, B, C. It is true, true, then what happened? True. So, here B is already true, it is there. If it is true, then we go for, what about you go for? If it is false means, one any one is false, the total result is false. If it is false, then close it, not necessary to think about next one, it is totally false. Because any one is false, total result is false. Here false, false, then what is the result is? This is false and this is also false and this is also false. If it is any one is false, total result is false, not necessary to think about next one. If it is true, then only go for second one, either it is true or false. For example, then we go for the year C, then think about the word C also, depends upon the C. Again, maybe C value is either true or C value may be false. Here then we check it, C value is true and true, true and true, what happened? True and true means it is a yes yeah if it is b value true but c value is false true and false what is your result that is your result is no so this is like a decision tree algorithm for one simple boolean example a union b intersection c first we take the condition a a then either a is maybe true or false if it is true true union anything is true only that's why yes if it is false, then only think about this condition, B. B either may be true or false. B is may be false means false and false. False and false is always false. No. If it is true, true means again there are two conditions are there. Either true means it may be true or, or false also. True or false. If it is true means true, true, true. If it is false means no. So, this is a simple example for Boolean expression boolean function for decision tree i will explain some more examples in the next videos thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel